Hey, what's going on? This is the Body Punch Podcast. My name is Naz. Let's talk about the Tyron Woodley sparring video. Big fight in boxing coming up. YouTuber Jake Paul is taking on the welterweight Hall of Famer Tyron Woodley. Um, And I wanted to talk about the sparring video that has recently been making the rounds. People have been watching it, doing their critiques. I wanted to talk about what I see in this sparring video, what this actually means. A lot of people are making a massive deal out of it. People are saying that it could it could potentially be a reason why Tyron Woodley could lose. Or I've seen many videos reviewing this this sparring video. And first of all, I just wanted to say that this is sparring. This is not something that that was meant to be blasted out and for everybody to see who knows what stage they're at in training, just not in the the camp itself, but who knows where they're at in that day in training. Maybe it's the end of the day. Maybe they're just wrapping up. Maybe they're just getting started. Maybe they're just warming up. But initially, I just wanted to say that before even diving into this video. But first of all, my first point when I, when I watched this video and watched Tyron Woodley train, uh, the way that I watched the video was someone was reviewing it and, and they were talking about the open guard. They were talking about uh, a Muay Thai slash MMA stance that Tyron Woodley was taking in the fight or in, in the in the training footage the first thing right off the bat is that this is not a real fight who knows if if this is the way that Tyron Woodley trains we've seen this in fighters in the past and from old training footage that we've seen from other fighters they might not take it as serious as a real fight there's i would say 90% of fighters wouldn't take it as serious as a real fight and that's not they're not doing it on purpose it's just this is the nature of the beast when you get into the octagon when you get into the ring when you step onto the mat there's a whole different adrenaline rush that comes forward when when you step into that arena so he might not be taking it as seriously as a real fight he might be drilling something different in in the the drills that I saw, Tyron Woodley, it looked like he was mostly working on his movement. There was uh, a little bit about his his actual positioning and all that kind of stuff, but it seemed like it was mostly about his movement. And before I get into my other points, I, I just want to say right at the beginning of this is that there's no way to tell from watching a video like this, from watching such a short clip of a training footage that you can make a assumption on the fight on who's going to win or lose. That's one thing we know about Tyron Woodley. We've seen him fight in MMA, but we have, we don't have that much information about Jake Paul. If you really think about it, he had one fight with a YouTuber, one fight with a NBA player and one fight with a wrestler. So we haven't seen, we don't have that much information about Jake Paul and how he would handle whatever Tyron Woodley would throw at him. And on top of that, we've only seen Woodley in MMA and in wrestling. We haven't seen him in straight boxing before. We've seen past fighters go into the ring and it's a whole different game. And they're looking for different things. I I remember a couple... UFC uh, MMA fighters were talking about how how much force was or how much they were developing um, their hand speed and all that kind of stuff but they totally lost track of where their feet are they might put a little bit more pressure on their feet when throwing a jab when throwing anything and that pressure in MMA could result in a a really hard leg kick that could that could really damage someone. 
you put that much pressure on your lead uh, on your front foot and someone goes for a leg kick there it can be no bueno so a lot of people have talked about how different it is when you're fighting in mixed martial arts as compared to boxing obviously they're two different sports so let's get into the rest of the points that i have here uh tyron woodley his main base is in wrestling i think people forget about that with all the the knockouts like the amazing kosh knockout that he had the the devastating knockouts that he's had the the fights with wonder boy where he was able to evade shots from a expert striker he his base is still in wrestling he started off as a wrestler he was he was a uh, two-time All-American, which he's mentioned in the lead-up to this fight. His base is wrestling, so we need to remember that. And he might have a different way of operating in the boxing ring. And it just might be something that we haven't seen before. One of my points that I have written down here is that if we look at fighters who have unorthodox styles, but they still win, there's many like Deontay Wilder is the biggest one uh, in my head. There's there's other ones that have unorthodox fighting styles, but they're still able to do what they need to do inside of that ring. So even if Tyron Woodley is not doing exactly what many people would think is is a typical boxing stand, maybe maybe it's the best thing for him. Also, uh just just a note on this is that you can see in the training footage how how tall the the his training partner is um i believe he's a he's a pro boxer his name uh, his, I, I forget his name at the moment but you can see that he's getting ready for an opponent that's going to be a lot taller than him and he's and he's just preparing in this again this is just training footage and i just wanted to talk about it because of how much uh, people people were talking about it and how much uh, some people were were putting into this training footage and and they were trying to make assumptions out of it and, and trying to actually call the fight and saying oh my god this is doomsday for Tyron Woodley but it might not be who knows we'll see in the in the fight but my m one of my last points in this uh, that I have written down here is Whatever Tyron Woodley is used to, it might be the best idea not to mess around with it. You see this in the NBA. You see this in other sports where people try and change the mechanics of an athlete. And it might be the worst thing that could happen. Uh, you've seen it in the NBA where people change the mechanics of, uh, of a shooter's shot. And there were getting a really high percentage before and then it all of a sudden tanks because someone thought that that's not the actual way to shoot a basketball. We've seen this in uh, just recently with the Derek Lewis fight where Derek Lewis kept on mentioning how he changed his training camp and how he's been training nonstop for this fight coming up. And, and it was actually one of his worst performances against Cyril Gunn. And many people are, are thinking that the reason is he might have overtrained. Maybe he's just not used to it. It's not like he got gassed out in the fight. It was just, it was not the way that Derek Lewis was able to string, string along all those wins before. It was just not the way that he operated in training camp. So if Tyron Woodley is used to doing something one way, then it might be the the best thing the, the it might be the best thing to to leave him alone and let him do what it what is natural and and let him do what allowed him to be a hall of famer in MMA so my final thoughts on this, this is going to be a quick podcast is that we shouldn't put too much into this video but if if you are then then if we really think about it um there might be some natural things that Tyron Woodley is doing that might be a little bit different. On top of that, we don't know when this training video was shot. We don't know if it was at the beginning or near the end of the actual session of the day. We just don't know. We don't have that much information. And we also don't know that 
this might look bad on on this video, but that still might be way too much for Jake Paul to handle. We don't know that either because we don't have that much information on Jake Paul either um, when it comes to him fighting against a professional fighter of Tyron Woodley's caliber. So those are my thoughts about this training footage. It was interesting to see the whole community trying to trying to dis dissect this, and I just wanted to give my two cents about it. So I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this training footage. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, give it a like. Uh, give me a subscribe. All that stuff helps. Uh, it, it really helps the channel. Um, if you're listening to this on any of the podcast networks, uh, like, review, leave uh, leave whatever you want on there, and, and let's chat about this. And um, yeah, this is a fun, quick little podcast. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day and listen to me talk. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we should really have a conversation about this one and 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 discuss it. So this has been the Body Punch Podcast. My name is Naz. Bye.